Good afternoon. Thank you very much for inviting me tonight, and also thank you very much for coming also tonight. I feel very honored. You already heard that tomorrow I will receive the honorary degree from the University of Malaga, and it's very honor. Also, I feel very honored to have a lecture tonight. And uh, today, I like to explain my last 10 project, which I done with my partner last 10 years. The, I started my own farm the, more than 30 years ago. And these 30 years, always I tried the same things, the, which is try to connect inside and outside. The, because of the, if we make a building, immediately the architecture of building makes the inside. And around the building, the, the outside. So, but for me, try to make architecture is not cutting or the dividing inside and outside. I like to connect the architecture as a, uh, to connect inside and outside. Inside means that we do a lot of activities in the building, and outside is we are living the, in our uh, environment, so which I like to connect the uh, people to the environment or surroundings. This is my trial. And uh, for me, somehow this uh, space is, I imagine like a park. The park is, the, there are many different two generations and also many people stay together though that everyone have a different aim or different time. But uh, in the park, normally the people uh, can have own privacy or one enjoy own time, but at the same time people can feel uh, continuity to the others and also can feel the with what the, we are sharing the space. This is uh, my trial, what this to make architecture which has a, such a character. And so these 30 years I try to many different way how to make this type of space or how, this type of architecture. And uh, the, the last 10 years ago, just uh, now showing the, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who moved? I don't know. <laughs> there are no... No. Please, not change. No, no. I want to control by myself. Uh, so the, what I finished this uh, the building, which is EPFL in Lausanne, the, it's a learning center. The, the somehow the interior space, I thought, I thought uh, very, I could make a very organic relation between the different uh, programs and then the, So, but the, next please. So this shows the interior space, which uh, there are two uh, hills. Um, the big hills and small hill, and between two hills, there are many different types of spaces or programs, and then also different uh, programs are softly divided by the courtyard. So each uh, uh, people can stay uh, uh, own space. Next, please. And the interior show like this. So the 
all the space are connected, but from bottom of the hill cannot see behind the hill, space behind the hill. And so that this way, the many different things happen together, but every space can have own privacy. Next, please. But uh, the outside, we try to uh, think about the continuity to the existing campus, which is, a, this is a learning center in the EPFL Lausanne. The, we, I realize maybe there are more way to be connected to the existing uh, uh, environment. Next, please. Then uh, we started, so after that, the, uh, to change a little bit the way. So the first one is the Louvre Lens. So the, if one hour from Paris, the, we divided the one big volume to four volumes that you see it here. I'm sorry, I asked the pointer. <laughs> Difficult. So, because I asked pointer, but there's, there is no pointer, sorry. And also, I cannot control by myself. So, the, but that is a music building. Next, please. And then this shows the plan. So, the, the one, instead of one big museum, I divided four volumes, uh, five volumes, one, two, three, four, five. And then each one tried to so the before, the I tried to make one building which as a total react the surroundings or try to make con relation to surrounding. But from here, gradually more smaller try to uh, think the one architecture connected by the smaller scales. And then each part react each local uh, condition. And so the, the, this site is the old coal mine, so there are many uh, historical uh, industrial things that remain, so I try to keep as much as possible, which means the building uh, has a little bit, has curb and not to touch the existing historical things. The, sometimes the, uh, the railway or the sometimes is an existing hall or some existing topography. And center, this is the entrance hall and the, the, the collection gallery and left hand is a temporary gallery. And then the, uh, the last one is auditorium. And there are four entrances. Next, please. And uh, it is a one-story building, but uh, because of the topography is gradually go down, so the roof is not flat, also follow the topography. Next, please. Next, please. And this shows the gallery, which is, uh, we say, the time gallery, collection gallery. So the Louvre people like to uh, make a time gallery, which is the in, uh, the, they want to make a gallery because their collection include the from 4000 BC till the middle of 19th century, which is uh, 6,000 years. And then they want to show according the time. And then also they want to uh, make a space so people, visitor can feel now we are living uh, the uh, feel the continuity from the 4000 BC. It's the collection is uh, not all the preserved things, but there is a uh, time of uh, continuity till now, and we are living for also to connect our uh, contemporary society to the future. So the uh, and next please. So that they asked us to show under the contemporary light to show the, all the, the, their collections. Next, please. And uh, the from entrance hall through the collection gallery, alive the glass gallery, and then the, here people can see all context of this uh, museum and also the city. Next, please. 
This is the entrance hall, and this is one of the remaining things, is uh, the shaft to the, uh, the underground. Next, please. And this is the entrance. Next, please. And uh, next, please. And we use the aluminum uh, mirror, which uh, reflect the surroundings. And uh, this is a site is in North Europe, so the, we get a very special light, not the light from the top, from the horizontally. So the, it's actually, uh, except one month, that this area is a very dark, but uh, try to spread the light and uh, uh, build, we try to make building melted in the surroundings. Next, please. And also we use the same material for the, the gallery. Next, please. So people can also con feel continuity from the uh, outside and also naturally invited to the gallery. And in the gallery, you see yourself, also the art, and also the other visitors. And also, I told the floor, because of the, the building is a 400 meter length, uh, and then the floor is not flat. The topography is going down gradually, so the floor also follow the, uh, the topography. So the, actually, the beginning of the gallery, you feel the art a little bit higher place, and gradually go down, and the middle of the gallery, you... Sorry. Oh. And uh, uh, in the, uh, so you realize in the middle of the gallery, uh, surrounded by the forest of the art. Next, please. And you see, no, the, it's not so clear, but uh, because of the light uh, heat, the surroundings, and then the, the, the many uh, brick houses. So gradually, with the light, the wall become orange, and then on the other side become green. And this way, we think the not one big big building, but the zigzag for five buildings are melted in the surroundings. Next, please. And this is the opening day, so you see that the roof is also following the topography. Next, please. And this is also one another building, but also try to uh, same things. The is a small, uh, low, small uh, library in Tokyo, suburbia of Tokyo. Next, please. So the it's uh, small, but I try to uh, open up the space, and then through the street people can enter the building because the site is, uh, uh, is a suburbia and then the, there is surrounding there are many still uh, house and also the vegetable field and uh, this just to make uh, one building this become bigger than the surrounding so the try to make scale down and also that to open the, make a street, people can enter from every direction. Next, please. So this show the, is, it's, uh, is it possible the little bit up, or is the bottom is uh, cut it? <laughs> or small? No? There is a, uh, the ground floor is a plan is spread. Next, please. And the first upper floor a little bit connected. Next. And the second floor more connected. So gradually the, the spread space are connected and one little bit uh, bigger area. Next, please. And also the structure is very complicated. The, so that each because uh, normally before we try to make a building, uh, the simple form, 
and then you know Japan has an earthquake, so it's very difficult about the structural system. So normally we try to make flat roof, and uh, the earthquake uh, uh, road to spread to uh, to con to uh, move some uh, strong part, which is the few cores, sometimes brace, but the rest of the column normally support only weight. This way we try to make thin column and some uh, strong part. Uh, and the strong part, of course, we must think about the balance, but uh, the here I try to not to do that, but divide the few uh, volumes, and then each one should have tried keep also uh, works. For, um, each one should stand by himself. That means the column become more thick, thicker, and uh, but uh, this way I believe the I believed the maybe the one strong architecture uh, strongest become uh, more uh, softer and then react a different way to the surroundings. Next please. So, next please. Even the, so the roof is not uh, flat, so the cannot uh, move from one to another. Next please, smoothly. And this is a completion. The, there are a few entrances. <coughs> and then the <coughs> half a glass and half a wall. But, <coughs> but all covered by the same material, which is aluminum uh, the mesh. Next, please. Next, please. And inside there are some streets, so the, uh, it's a library, but also there are communal space, the communal, to go to communal space, not necessary to enter the building, but directly to enter the space. Next, please. So sometimes the, the cooking space is the, suddenly able, someone can join also the, some activities. Next, please. Next, please. <laughs> and gradually go up, become a, mm, the normal library. Next, please. Next, please. And next, try. So now I show the scales, smaller scales, uh, the complex of the smaller scales. And next one is I like to show the roof, which uh, canopy. It's a traditional way Japanese architecture has a like roof and canopy so that this space uh, connects the inside and outside. But so far we didn't use this language, but here we started to use. That this is one housing building which contains 10 family units. Next, please. And but uh, Kyoto has a regulation. First, Kyoto local uh, authority asked to make a sloped big roof. But to compare to the surroundings, it's huge. So I started to talk with the city people. And then next, please. And then also then the gradually, because of the 10 house, so the 10 roofs. But then the, it looks, uh, designing 10 independent house. And, but I like to make one housing contain 10 family units. So that means I didn't use 10 roofs option. And then 20, each one has two rooms, but this also very clear. And then gradually more each room, for example, this is a each room has its own roof, but gradually <laughs> become more smaller than surroundings. Next, please. So the finally, I decided uh,
So finally, I decided that every house has three roofs. For example, corner, there are three roofs, and then the, the center is uh, uh, oven roof, but the two other one is share the neighbors. This way, gradually connected to whole house and become one housing uh, building. And also, the, every house has the courtyard under the roof, and also the few the courtyards without the roof are sharing space, uh, which has a, uh, the staircase, and from basement car parking come up, coming up to this level. Next, please. Uh, this show, for example, corner, the, the, the three uh, roofs, the, the lily corner is the dining and also living. And the uh, next left one is a share the neighbors and the, the kitchen and the courtyard. And the one, another one is shared with neighbors, but there's a bedroom. And uh, there are, like, you see, there are a lot of uh, staircase, which is a sharing courtyard connected from the parking. And uh, every house has a main entrance, perimeter, and then the sharing the courtyard, people can approach also to the kitchen door. Next, please. And this is a structure that try to keep also the one uh, big, it's not Back, big one roof, but originally it's a one housing, so I tried to uh, keep uh, image of the one big roof. But the cut it, and then from through this cutting, they get bring the light to every room, and also bring the natural wind. Next, please. Next, please. And this is show the construction. Next, please. And this is the reality. Next, please. So, for example, the one, for example, I explained the one house, enter the, uh, the uh, courtyard with roof, and around the, the dining kitchen, and here is a living, and also the bathroom, and the bathroom has another courtyard, and also the behind, there is a tatami space. So this way, so that every house has somehow privacy, that, but at the same time, if you see the up, the, you can see other people's roof, and the people can feel some continuity, and can feel the making one housing building with neighbors. Next, please. Uh, this is another house the kitchen and the dining room. Next, please. And this is another house. Next, please. This is another one. So that it's a very different way the room are connected, so the many different space are appearing. Next, please. And also this is another one, is, but this is showing the bathroom and the, the terrace and then there is a bedroom. Next, please. To show that these are the lot of roofs. Next, please. Next, please. Next one, also the uh, volumes and also canopy. That it's, uh, it's a theater that existing stand uh, the, the north of Japan, and uh, this is a very small town, so from the beginning it's too big for this town. But at the same time, the people really need, wanted to have this theater, which is 200, uh, 1200 seats uh, 
uh, there. And, uh, but uh, everyone knew from the beginning that to use 1,200 seats uh, is only two, three times a year. And the uh, rest is empty. So we here try to think about how to solve this issue and also the big scale. And the, anyway, the flight tower needs this height, 30 meter. And then, so from there, uh, we try to go down the scale as much as possible. And also there is one, the historical building and with Japanese garden, so the, try to connect together. Next, please. So this is the, uh, also, it's cut it. <laughs> but it's a building, and then the, the, there are two roads, so I co made a wire uh, to connect the two roads and to face to also the Japanese garden. Next, please. And then, So the two entrances face to the Japanese garden and then 1,200 seats there. And then the, because of the, normally the back space not necessarily such a big space. So the, there are two big doors, you see. The, normally this is opened. And then the old, uh, I mean the, from entrance hall to the corridor, to the back is uh, connected. It looks like uh, the road are uh, connected to the building. And uh, these uh, spaces are uh, rent to the citizen. And uh, two to three times a year, if the, they really need a big uh, number of the, uh, because of the full of the seat and they need a big back space, it will be cutted the front and back. And this is a, uh, uh, so normally it's uh, they're open to the public. Next, please. And uh, this showed uh, how to make the center. We made the uh, theater part made by the concrete, and the surroundings. The it has a own each space has a own roof, and this means is because of the the. The right one is the uh, loading, needs some height. So that defines that height, and next one, the big uh, oh, thing. And then can move only, only, only laser. Only laser. Only laser. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so this is the loading, and this is big storage, and the studio, and then this is the wire to connect the two roads. And there is uh, also the cafe bending area, and this is the leading area and the small story, uh, the studio. And then these are uh, continuously people can move. Next, please. And then the, every space has own height. So the from 30 meter coming down to the exact height and try to keep the, make a smaller volume as much as possible. Next, please. So this way, the roof is coming down. Next, please. Next, please. And the, so from higher part to the coming down. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. And, uh, Oh, before, one before. Hmm? Uh, so that you see that there is a fence. Uh, before, it's the, this is a traditional part <laughs> and divided, but uh, uh, we remove and then also I add this fence to here and then looks one, some cultural area, try to make. Next, please. Next, please. 
So that this show the from higher part coming down and coming down and each, each area become some one program space. Next please. And this is a historical building and also garden and from Hawaii you can enjoy this view, but at the same time many visitors come to this historical building and from there also can enjoy this view. Next please. Next please. And this is the back road. So the here the big door but it's open. Normally it's people can go walk around and this space uh, rented. Next please. And also this section made the uh, main hall. Next please. So this show the one big uh, theater which is uh, 1200 seat has a, and uh, our idea what I explained the beginning the because of if I divide this theater is very beautiful, but in Japan normally it's not allowed <laughs> because uh, the public theater always uh, we must follow some uh, very normal way. So very difficult. So here, but we propose one the other style. And then, because if the 1200 people uh, join some concert, it's full of the people but normally 200 people are using, so that the, the people are spread all the way, so not, uh, for example, normal theater in Japan, if 200 people, only the ground floor, the first part is uh, full of the people and the rest is empty. But here is the people can spread. Next, please. So I mean, the, because of the, these, uh, inst for example, if this is the maximum of 50, but a uh, few people case, that this become for 10 people <laughs> or the 20 people. So the, the theater looks uh, the for 200 seats and sometimes 1,200 seats. This is, uh, and then the, the people of course, outside there is a circulation, but at the same time also people can move just inside and from the, bot from the back to the uh, stage. Next, please. So the, this showed the full of, uh, so the once a year, the school use and to have a presentation, that time is, it will be full with the students. Next, please. Next, please. And next one is in United States, the north, the New Canyon. is uh, the Grace Farm, the project. The, the, it's a private foundation, but the beginning they, they contact us and they explained in old days in the United States, the church works as a kind of community center. That every Sunday people gather and play and also after that to enjoy or to do volunteer or to communicate to education together. But now the church doesn't work, but they believe they need this type of space. So that even the private foundation, they said they like to make a, this type of space in their hometown. And so this uh, which the, we made, and uh, but the site is uh, the, uh, before the space for the horse training space. So it's a kind of rolling hill, and then there is a very beautiful space, but there's a big pond or the wetland with many uh, trees. Next, please. This is the plan. So the, it's uh, the road coming, and then there is a barn, and uh, 
his parking here. And then the, there is a horse barn, but uh, we want to, uh, so the first we planned try to hide behind the barn, the parking. But uh, at the same time, we didn't want the people feel alive the back. So the H-shaped barn, we remove this part and to make an ent uh, entrance further. And the barn will become uh, uh, classrooms and also the office. And then this is a new space. The, the one tea room, which works as a also information center, kind of. And this is the dining and the library, and this is the uh, multi-purpose hall. And this is gymnasium. The uh, program we discuss with, because of the this type of space uh, not existing. The Sunday they want to use as a kind of space for play. But after uh, this of the whole uh, time, it's open completely to the public. And uh, so there is a working space or the walking or the many outside activity or the, this is a barbecue courtyard. But uh, so, the beginning, the client and also we didn't know what type of space we really need. So just to prepare basic place, the, the classrooms and gymnasium and the dining, but also discussion space and small library and multi-purpose hall. But now people are developing how to use and to define this type of space. Uh, Next, please. So this is a rendering. So that there are trees. So try to uh, sometimes close, sometimes distance, and to connect the spaces. And uh, each space try to find a good place for program. Next, please. And also the structure that this area has uh, the wooden laminated uh, technology. So uh, we decided, first we plan to use steel structure, but uh, we realized to try to use a st uh, steel structure, which is very complicated. Rather, that if we use a s wood, wood is more softer than steel, and then just we use a flat st wooden beam, and just to follow the topography, but at the same time, also sometimes we must think about the drainage of the rain, so the roof have some slope, or sometimes we want to open up the view, so it makes the slope, and these are connected by the uh, roof material, uh, wooden material, and become kind of three-dimensional make a roof the end. Next, please. Also, the two spaces, the gymnasium and multi-purpose hall, is we must make a bigger span. So the, use the same uh, um, dimension of the wooden beam, but make a little bit the, this. And then can make big, can work as a bigger span. Next, please and try to find the exact place. So we use the, the, uh, this uh, and then to change and to adjust, try to find a good place. Next, please. And to make the each spaces. Next, please. And connect it by the roof. Next, please. And the end become like this. And uh, this is looks one continuity, but at the same time, if we, if depend on your position, sometimes the four spaces uh, stand independent, looks stand independently, but sometimes whole spaces by connected the uh, roof. So the appearance is very different from uh, your uh, position. Next, please. 
this is the uh, mud purpose space, the stand highest place. And this is uh, 750 people uh, sit, can gather. And normally the 750 seat asked us a little bit more steep slope to see the nice view. But uh, finally we decided to follow the topography. So if you sit there, you can feel you are sitting in the field. And uh, its stage is very small, but the many different new way is developed by the users. Next, please. For example, just a speech is like this. But uh, once uh, we did the dance uh, program, and then the, they use on first started uh, inside the small stage, but suddenly disappear and then appear the behind the glass. And then because of the sight is slowing down, so from behind the glass they dance and then disappear even lo move lower part and uh, coming back from the top and uh, enter from the top to <laughs> go back to the stage. So the, the, or the uh, many different way user uh, tr try to use this space. And uh, it's also, I uh, gradually I understand not only this case, also another building, because also this, we prepare, you know, the big, screen because of the glass is a little bit hard and uh, the client like to use multi purpose as a as a mass purpose space so the we collaborate with a sound engineer and but for the speech or the for the music but the music also classic and also rock is so different and uh, so the, there are two screens, the thick one and the thinner one, and then depend only one or that sometimes together, and uh, this fit to the uh, program to achieve a good sound environment. But the reality is um, of normally they use uh, not closing the curtain open <laughs> and uh, but uh, everyone said it's a very good acoustic space but uh, people who had a speech said this and uh, some people did the music also said the same thing so that i think uh, if uh, we check by machine it's not but uh, somehow, I think the the body uh, adjust. I think some, uh, mm, for example, completely close the box in the box. Uh, if the uh, sound station is really bad, it's very uncomfortable. But uh, the body can feel not only the uh, machine number, but more as a total environment. So, I know, I'm, not, I'm sorry, my English is, <laughs> I, I want to say is just the um, space. The bo uh, sometimes the body can feel different thing from the number, and the space can do something, I think. <laughs> Next, please to show the continuity. Next, please. Next, please. Oh. It's a small library. Next, please. And you show, you see the, from the, it's a little bit difficult thing is, is from library, uh, the next space we didn't want to disturb the uh, space each other. For example, if you are uh, library, you can you stand and you can see the view, and you s sit, you can see the view. But uh, this also that so that can see through between this. So this way, the three or four the spaces level, and also position we 
uh, 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 somehow uh, try to find a good place. Next, please. Next, please. And this is uh, the barbecue garden. So that this is barn, I said. So from the beginning, the, from the outside, the car arrived behind the barn. And then we removed this the part. So this become uh, the entrance garden, plaza. So people enter. And then the, the, the classrooms and the office and arrived here is a tea space but you can get some information and you can freely enjoy this whole site but also the dining or the gymnasium or go up to the library or the multi-purpose hall. Next please. And this is the gymnasium so the from this also defined the, the, the from dining the parents can see the children is the playing here. Next, please. And this is the, uh, the tea room. Next, please. And uh, some place you can see the building like this. So this is a kind of looks fence. And through this project, I gradually not only the uh, so till now I try to connect the building to the surrounding, but uh, gradually I want to think about the building is a uh, part of the scenery, uh, not, not the building and surrounding, but more the building is a uh, one part of the scenery. This way uh, I try to make this type of uh, uh, architecture and then is a kind of a landscape architecture we are thinking. Next please. And this is the uh, one and a half year ago completed and uh, one year ago. Is, uh, in Japan, Osaka is a art school uh, building. The, the entrance is the here, and the, this whole campus was made cut of the mountain. And so the very thin and very long. And the 60 years ago, that it started and going until the end. And then again, the, the university liked to make a space, the front, for new department. And, uh, but I thought, because of the, this is a very special place, the, because of before the school started from here, and the bus coming up here. So the, it's very pity, only occupied by the one department student. So I propose, of course, that this should be the space for one department, new department, but at the same time make kind of a space that will be shared by the old student all the students. Next, please. So that is uh, going up, and this is a rendering, so that, that we made the first, is uh, try to make kind of the, to show the, some image of the, uh, it was a hill. Next, please. And this is a plan, so going up, there's a bus coming, and then this is a one big space to share the students and this four classrooms also the school decided that the, everyone can join the these uh, classrooms. So I planned not directly people can go to the classroom from outside and there are small spaces next to this one big building and then go one big space and then go down there the big dark space because this is multimedia uh, art science uh, uh, new media they want to use new media so they really need black space so the very bright space and black space next please so this is but the, actually the bef this also the lot of roofs so before often our building is glass is a big glass but divided many canopies. So this doesn't have direct light and all the 
or uh, yeah, only one hour <laughs> the late afternoon, but normally no direct flight, but still a lot of uh, brightness coming from surroundings. And then the behind the glass, there are the corridors to approach to the classroom. Next, please. And these are the space, small space for the uh, lounge. But the same time, this use as an experimental space. So the, this is a kind of small canopy to use the, for lighting for the machine. And uh, the ceiling has a lot of uh, small hole. And people can temporarily uh, suspend from the uh, ceiling. Many small hold is on the grid, on the pan, on the concrete. One, two, three, one, two, three, all. <laughs> Next, please. And this is the lounge. Next, please. Next, please. And this is also the big terrace behind and uh, uh, the future, of course, they're also not necessarily inside. They also like to use as a uh, kind of uh, showing space outside, but also the, can make many different type of space future. Next, please. And this is city hall, the one year before completed. Also, this is the office the, for the city hall. And this also we propose a space for the citizen. So this also the we think the part of the uh, the kind of the uh, city. Uh, next, please. The, this show the the drawing which we made the first beginning is the city hall. A lot of office spaces. Also the the front there are the, some space the citizen come to do many things. And then this will be connected to the, we propose, the outside space. And some program in the part of the outside, there are a big restaurant and also big uh, office space, which open on the Sunday also. Next, please. Next, please. So bus coming, next, please. It's not. So always under the roof, the, also the surrounding, the city scenery are in, in, in the roof. And uh, many events happened. The two weeks ago, uh, they used this roof is showing the rugby. Now in Japan, is a I don't know, rugby, not football, the rugby uh, world match happened, and uh, so they show the, in the roof, and the, the citizen people are gathering in this uh, city hall plaza. Next, please. This show the ceremony, the, the opening. Next, please. And this is uh, another the, uh, university library. The, Next, please. The, it's a, the story go down to this level. So the front and the back, there are two meter difference. So the, this continue, I use this continuity to the whole circulation. And then the center is a lot of the full of the uh, book shelf. And surrounding the uh, circulation go up. And then also, of course, local circulation to connect different floors. And this slope can allow, allow people to see each other, even the different level. For example, if you go to close to this here, and you can see the basement, but also basement has double height so that you can see ground, ground floor. And then you see the second floor, or the from also the and then the second floor, also there's another, always the, every floor has double height. So double height and slope can connect uh, the spaces between the different level. And then not divided the floor, but uh, 
the five floors, uh, the library which has a five floors can become a kind of one big space. You can uh, feel that. And also that this show, uh, con in maintained a lot of uh, uh, bookshelf, but uh, I try to make smaller, small different characteristic spaces. Sometimes some places are very bright, sometimes very dark, sometimes bigger, sometimes small. But uh, depend gradually that each visitor can find own favorite space and uh, can, I think, the, this become a kind of, uh, I hope, it's a public library, but uh, also each one can feel very private study space. Next, please. Um, so this is the entrance, and then the two, le two meters go down, there is an entrance for the kindergarten, and then also two meters down, there is uh, the low, uh, low, no, sorry, two meters down the loading area. And then go up, this is uh, second, go up, second floor, go down the ground floor, the first floor, and then this is one up, is uh, third floor, and then the top floor, and then basement. So the all are connected. Next, please. So entrance, go up, and arrive. The reception is the first, the second floor. But uh, go down is first floor. Next, please. And then you arrive the reception, you see the also go up to the third floor. Next, please. And you arrive third floor, there is a small counter, but this type of small counter and the table, uh, the study place are spread all in the library. Next, please. And you see from, this is the entrance, and you see the two meter below is a ground floor. But also you can see the basement floor. But also this is a second floor, but also you see the going up to the third floor. Well, this uh, happened uh, many places. Next, please. And the third floor, uh, there's a big center hall, uh, the void space, and there is also the bigger study room, and the lecture hall here, and then this also going up to the top. Next, please. And you see the side, so there's the group workspace. And then this is the, the reception area, second floor. But this you see the ground floor, the one below. Next, please. And this is another campus building, is Bocconi in Milan. That there is an existing Bocconi campus, and next to existing Bocconi campus, we are making a new campus, which the 40% open to the public as a park. And this is a big gymnasium, also big open to the park, and there's the dorm, dormitory, and then there's the, uh, the master course, and the offices, and executive course. And uh, next, please. The site is the, the end of the old city area. So gradually the city fabric uh, uh, opened. And then after, the, there is a big road, and then new city started. So my idea is try to gradually uh, the city fabric uh, melted, and then this building become a part of the park to make a park space. And uh, try to also use the portico. And uh, so the, uh, gradually <laughs> it's less, but uh, still the ground for some part is open to the public. And uh, this is the master course, this is the office, uh, master course and the office, and this is the executive class. And every uh, this is a, normally the fabric is like this, but the ground is really like this. And the people you see the, from the, the public road inside and the courtyard and the inside and courtyard and the inside courtyard. 
every space is thin, so the, the light coming from the top, and you can see through whole spaces and to continue visually to the park. And this is the gymnasium, and this is the door. Next, please. And so see this, the every, this is the master course building, and then courtyard, and uh, so see from here to here, see to here. Next, please. This is the office, also office has uh, also courtyard, but the two different uh, spaces also made another courtyard. Next, please. And this curve defined by the classrooms and, and between this space, a kind of Kohi break space. Next, please. And this is uh, the construction, but it's long ago, so it will complete the end of November. Next, please. And to show also the courtyard and courtyard and courtyard. So the ground floor before is continuing from the road to the pub park. But the end, the security issue happens. So the visually connected, but the physically uh, cut, cut it. But the some part still the cafe or bar are open to the public. Next, please. This is the ground, the entrance. Next, please. And then to bring you to the, uh, also the deep space. Next, please. And this is the classrooms. Next, please. And the whole building covered by the aluminum mesh. Next, please. And this uh, make a become uh, the park. Next, please. Next, please. And uh, also the, now the construction start from now. This is a Sydney, Sydney modern project. There is, you know, there's an opera house, and op behind the opera house there is a botanical garden, and there is the state museum, and our extension is here. The extension of state mo museum is a C Sydney modern. And then the site, next please. But actually the, we don't have the, the site. The, this is a state museum, and then uh, this is a highway. So uh, above the highway, there is a land bridge, and also before, originally there is a, there was a site. Now there's the house, house, but this is there is oil tank, and so the, above the oil tank and above the highway land bridge is our, our site. Next, please. So the land bridge and the oil tank. So to connect the from the existing museum to the bottom to the bay, the these uh, galleries and the bottom of the oil tank become one gallery. So the people move gallery to gallery through the the street. But at the same time, also people can move outside from here to here to here to here to here. So the inside and outside, all uh, people can enjoy walking. Next, please. So this is the connection between the old existing gallery and the new gallery. And we try to make glass canopy. Next, please. This showed our office. In this show the section of the glass. Glass fly span the nine meter. Next, please. And we made a mock-up. Next, please. And then from the canopy to enter the entrance hall, and you can see all the view from the top to the bay, the between the galleries. The first gallery is here, and then go down. And next gallery, and you go down, next gallery, and go down the oil tank. So it's always moved the, uh, the existing topography. Next, please. And then always in front of the gallery, there is the, the rest space, and you can enjoy the different level of the view of the Sydney. Next, please. And then this is one of the roofs, so the, after that you can move also outside the roof to roof. And 
it's uh, become a part of the botanical garden. Next, please. Next, please. And this, uh, sorry, long. <laughs> the final, the long, the last uh, uh, project is uh, in the uh, Japan, the west area. There is the we say Setowichi Inland Sea. Some people uh, knows the Naoshima, which is developed by Ando, but uh, this is near from uh, Naoshima. Uh, developed with the same client because Naoshima succeeded somehow. So the ten years ago, the client, same uh, person, the Fukutake, Mr. Fukutake, started to spread the same things in the inland sea, the Seto, because the Naoshima is uh, one of the island, the in Setouchi Island, inland sea. And there are so many islands in that area and started to develop different islands. And my island is a really small island. Next, please. It's a kind of uh, one before, please. One back. Again, sorry. Ah, so it's okay. So this is a tiny island. The whole, uh, the, the, uh, it's almost one kilometer. So the, this is kind of scale of new, uh, the old city scale. And in tiny island, there is a small village. Its uh, scale is big, bigger architecture building scale. <laughs> Next, please. And there are many empty spaces. Oh. And uh, 2008, the, with Fukutake-san, I started art project which the, there are many abandoned houses, so the, we tried to uh, renovate the abandoned house to renovate to galleries. And the uh, uh, idea is uh, the, some sm one small village become a kind of museum. And the people can enjoy art and also the uh, small village scenery and also the old people's lifestyle. Uh, 2008, the, there were 58 people were living, but 10 years now has passed and then 23 people are living. So naturally, the less people and less people and the average age is always around 80. And, uh, but the 2016, I realized that maybe it's better to think about uh, some space people can stay there. And then there is more opportunity people, visitors can touch the island and the island lifestyle. And also the 2015, I started with students also to think about the landscape. I mean, that because of the, my friend came, that she is a professor now, and she came with a student in this island, and she contacted me because, uh, the, because of the tiny island, to just enjoy art is need only one hour. But she uh, told me if I made some uh, program, and then the, they can help the because only one hour, but they can spend three, four hours more in this island, so they can do something. And I realized, oh, maybe it's a good idea, because it's a very small island, so if you some, do something, you can immediately change uh, of the island. And this way, maybe uh, we can do something by ourselves. This is a landscape project. Next, please. First, I explain the quickly the art project. So art project is like this. And then I decided try to use material, existing materials as much as possible. But if not, if it's sometimes not possible, and then maybe also the, can bring the new materials and then try to make a new, little bit new scenery but uh, this uh, 
respect of course existing scenery and also to uh, continue to uh, future. And uh, these are the what uh, did till now. Next, please. So the first one is this, that this is a very uh, good condition. So I use the old structure and old the, the ceramic, but the wall was uh, very uh, broken. So I bring use new uh, materials. Next, please. And this show what the, uh, so that these are just, uh, I moved to the center and then basically to use the existing structure and then the, these are, uh, the, and this is old material, but this is new. And I try to make new harmony, not try to, uh, not make difference between old materials and new materials as much as possible. Some uh, to not to make contrast, but try to make some similarity. Next, please. And this way, always the, the road, because empty house and then green eat the house. And then the water coming down and one day disappear the crops. And this is uh, the first renovation. And, but uh, this island is uh, famous of the stones. I put also stone here. This is existing. And then also try to make uh, also the, uh, some space artists can use, not only inside, but also outside, surrounding. <laughs> next, please. And this is next one. It's completely broken, so I brought the plexiglass which is very new material, but uh, the factory made these pieces and bring and uh, this uh, define this shape because of the to achieve the thinner uh, use possibility of the thinner plexiglass. Need uh, this strong curve. And then each plexiglass stand by himself and become uh, 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 kind of gallery. Next, please. And this also the artist uh, made inside this. The basically, the, these gallery are temporary galleries. And uh, through many trials, and now finally, once a year, some gallery will be changed. And then total image of the uh, whole exhibition um, slightly changed. And uh, first, the curator said the uh, gallery need uh, wall, but this situation, gradually discussion and this situation is very strange, us uh, very special. So use a lot of uh, transparency and uh, every artist come to the island and try to think about uh, to how to communicate with local uh, conditions or the local uh, uh, character. And this is a lens, and you close to the, the lens, this art, you can see the detail of the surroundings. Next, please. And this is another one. The before is a flower, but one year ago it uh, changed the uh, installation. And this is a Brazilian artist. Next, please. And you can enter and then you can feel that you can surround it by the also art, which is not art existing, the, the building of the, this island. Next, please. And this shows the same process. Always we check that this way, uh, make pieces, and then the, to check which material we can use. And this actually house uh, that we can use a lot of materials. Next, please. So, and next, please. So the, it's the almost uh, uh, just uh, clean and then change the what part. Next, please. But uh, the structural uh, strength is uh, different from the period of this building made. So I add a few thick uh, beams and then 
clear the uh, strength of the structure of today. And now this show, this new art came, is a wooden big flower that smelled with a, filled with a very good uh, smell <laughs> of this uh, wood. Next, please. Next, please. And this is the, uh, we, I made a, uh, use the existing one, but the uh, two windows and always artists react to this windows and to connect the two sides. Next, please. And next one is Olafa installed and also his piece also to react to this connection. Next, please. Next, please. And then uh, this is the uh, stay project because uh, how to stay and this uh, the stay is just a small bedroom project but at the same time also the another one um, woman interested in this island so she opened the weekend bar next please and i collaborate with other architects that i made a, so this is a kind of using the existing one but adding this part and make canopy and to make us space around and I designed the uh, furniture. Next please. And then this also the stone from this island. So instead of place and column he used this stone, heavy stone. Next please. Next please. And this is the state project with Nishizawa. It is also here the Nishizawa's name but it's <laughs> hidden. Next please. The try to rhythmate small uh, storage. Next, please. Because of that, to renovate the big houses takes cost, but the small, big empty house always has uh, empty small storage. Next, please. And then made uh, this. Next, please. Also, on the next, please. Making another one. One more. Next, please. Then uh, aim is try to spread the small, uh, sometimes movable space. People can stay, hold the island, and then also one sharing space we like to make. And then night, go back to the bedroom. And every path here is two meter, the, but it's kind of a corridor, and then coming to the dining room morning and then to do workshop in this island. It's the, so kind of the whole island become a kind of school. Oh, it's try to do now, try to make this uh, situation. Next, please. Next, please. And also the landscape project is the, the this is a, a village. But the, because of that, this is only 30 minutes is enough. So this is uh, three kilometer. It's one hour is enough. So try to open up this path and to see the, to learn from the island. And also there is an abundant glass house. So use the secondary gallery and uh, people, visitor can more opportunity to touch the Inishima. Next, please. This is uh, the, with the, lands, the landscape designer the, to learn from the existing condition and can see, can understand the history of this island. Next, please. And we made up this and then the people not only come to art, but also the, there is another layer to enjoy the, uh, the island itself. Next, please. And this is a glass house, abandoned. Also, we make new canopy and also small kiosk. And now there's a small kitchen also making. Next, please. And uh, uh, the guy uh, started to think about the kind of uh, lifestyle for future. Next, please. And this is the kitchen. Next, please. Also, the one um, young architects also now planning to make kitchen roof. Next, please. And this is the, the workshop with the students. The 
that this is the, the landscape designer, and then the, because of the old days, the, there was a uh, path, but it's hidden. Now open up again with the students. Next, please. And also the abandoned house, also renovate with the students. Next, please. And also the, sometimes the kitchen, the, we make a party, and sometimes they started to get money to serve also the uh, pizza. <laughs> Next, please. And this is the last the photos. Uh, this is the people are living here. And uh, we discuss about the vision of the island, but uh, through this, now the uh, landscape project is a kind of everyone gather do as a voluntary. But uh, through this project, I think the kind of uh, the small scale island, really small scale island, kind of is uh, looks uh, building scale, uh, and to think about to do something to do the island is kind of to make architecture. And through this uh, the activity, I think I can think another uh, new type of architecture, I mean the more uh, to um, uh, uh, I can think about about architecture. <laughs> uh, I believe, and I try to continue this activity. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>